Welcome back to Drive Genius, and in this video, we're going to talk about a kid that's been getting a lot of buzz over the past couple weeks or so, and that kid is Trey Lance, quarterback out of North Dakota State University. I'm not going to lie and act as if I knew who he was prior to about a week ago. It's not like there's a lot of North Dakota State games being shown on TV or anything like that, so I'm pretty late to the party when it comes to Trey Lance, but that's okay. I'm really glad I'm watching him right now. And I'm really glad I'm getting the opportunity to see what he can do on the field. I know it's still early, but after sitting down and watching a few games, I've come to this conclusion. Trey Lance will be a top five pick in the 2021 NFL draft. He has that type of ability. And if he can go out and have a season close to what he had this past season, he could be the second quarterback off the board after Trevor Lawrence. Trey Lance can make all the throws. He doesn't have a rocket for an arm, but it's well above average and is good enough to get the job done. Ball placement and touch are the areas where he excels, in my opinion. This play right here, you have the number two receiver aligned on the hash, running a slot fade. The receiver does a good job of winning on this route. He does a good job of getting a step on the defender, but he also doesn't fade too far off of his initial alignment, giving Trey Lance some room for error, so to speak, on this throw. Now, look at where North Dakota State is on the field. They're in the red zone, so this pass has to be absolutely perfect because they're running out of real estate in the back of the end zone. There's a small window to complete this pass, and Trey Lance absolutely drops a dime. Not to mention, this is coming off of a play fake, so he has to execute the fake, go completely blind to the route concepts down the field, and then he has to get his eyes back around quickly to make this throw. This is an excellent job by Trey Lance, and stuff like this is what has me excited about him as a prospect. Now, this is a simple naked concept here out of what is essentially a three by one bunch formation. You probably can't see it, but there's a receiver at the top of the screen to the field on the numbers. There's a couple things I love about what Trey Lance does on this play right here. First is the fake. Lance does a good job of showing the ball, then hiding it on his hip as he boots around. I'm sure this is a North Dakota State thing that's coached because I've seen Carson Wentz and Easton Stick do the same thing over the years. It's something small, but stuff like that just tells me that he's well coached, and I like to see little nuances like that. Next is the throw. It's just a beautiful throw if you ask me. As I mentioned before, there's a receiver at the top of the screen that we can't see, but I'm pretty sure he's running a comeback. Lance is able to get back around after the play fake and deliver about a 20-yard strike on the move to that receiver downfield. I thought this was a really good job by Trey Lance, and I see throws like this all over his film. So not only has he shown that he can be effective as a pocket passer, he also does a good job on the move as well. You absolutely got to love it. He's also going to be a problem on the ground, folks. He can do everything that you need him to do with his legs. He rushed for over 1,000 yards last season, and it's pretty easy to see why. Now, don't get me wrong. He's not Lamar Jackson or anything like that, but he doesn't really have to be. North Dakota State loved to run QB power with him, and it was highly effective. I'm a big fan of the jet sweep action as well, just to add a little window dressing to it all. Typically, teams won't want their starting quarterback running plays like this and exposing him to more hits but North Dakota State didn't mind doing this with Trey Lance. He does a really good job of following that pulling backside guard, and he's a north and south runner. So at minimum, he's gonna give you a bloody four yards every time you run this play with him. Another thing is that Trey Lance has a nice frame. He's like 6'3 and 220 pounds. So once he gets going north and south, it's gonna to be tough to bring him down. Now, what some people are gonna be shouting is that the level of competition just isn't the same compared to other quarterbacks. And what I'm going to shout back is Carson Wentz, who's made that transition from North Dakota State to the NFL relatively easy. It's not like it was that long ago either. It just happened a few years ago. Now, that doesn't mean that the level of competition doesn't matter because it does. FCS football just isn't the same as playing in the Big Ten or the ACC. The difference in this case is that North Dakota State is the cream of the crop in the FCS. And Trey Lance absolutely dominated amongst his peers as a first-year starter. Also, he plays quarterback. It's not like he's playing on the offensive or defensive line where there are significant physical differences between FBS players and FCS players. That's not what we're dealing with here. Now, North Dakota State does play Oregon this upcoming season, so Trey Lance is gonna have an opportunity to show that he can play with the big boys. If he can have a good outing in that game and improve upon what he did last season, 
is going to go a long way in cementing his spot as one of the best quarterbacks in college football. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and drop a comment down in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video or what player you want us to look at next. We try to reply to all the comments, so don't be scared to let us know how you feel. If you like this content, subscribe to the channel. Also follow Draft Genius on all social media platforms, which will be linked in the description box. If you're feeling generous, support the channel by donating a dollar or two to us on Patreon, which is also linked in the description box. If you can do that, it goes a long way in helping us keep this channel going. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And always remember, film don't lie.